Cisco and HashiCorp's Terraform series. Infrastructure as code, focusing on day zero and day one deployments. This is pulling it all together. It's gonna get fun here. We've got a virtual instance of uh, Firepower that's currently deployed, but we're gonna dynamically create a web server on the fly, everything from start to finish, apply the right port groups, um, configure it to have a web service running, pull some data down, SSH enabled, Firepower, then we're gonna move to create objects uh, that we need for policy to access the web. Uh, or SSH, or vice versa, going outbound from the DMZ server to get an update from uh, a re repository for Ubuntu. You've got all these objects, and then we're going to use those in that access control policy where we've got it, it, uh, DMZ uh, zones, uh, outside zones. We've got objects that we're using. You've got destination ports of SSH, HTTP, HTTPS, You've got DNS over UDP. You've got all those URLs that we've created. Wow, and then we've got a default policy of block. We've got IPS policies being applied. We've got logging enabled. And then we move into NAT policy where we build out a NAT policy to translate that DMZ server out to an external IP address so we can access it and then allow anything on the DMZ net to get to the internet from a NAT perspective. This is part three. Consider it a bonus section. This is the destroy. Now there's some things interesting here. I created a script. Because the one thing you have to do is you have to remove and reassign a device that's already currently assigned to a policy in order for this to work. So this is basically a reminder, before you move forward, make sure that you remove the device. So you can see here, if I look at access control policy, I've done that. And same with NAT, I've, I've reassigned the device to another. I didn't push policy, I just reassigned it and saved it within Firepower. Now when I run the script, I can answer the question either yes or no. In this case, I'll go no just to show you that, okay, go do it, get it done. And now I'll rerun it again and I'll go ahead and hit yes. Let's get started destroying stuff and the, everything that we've worked hard to do right now, right? All those programmatic changes that just took, you know, under, you know, probably 20 minutes if you, probably less than that, but if you consider the 10 minute delay that I enforced there, we're going to reverse that in less time. So it's going to go ahead and it's going to delete all of the objects, the, um, the access control policy, the NAT policy, clean that up. Then it's going to go over to ESXi and it's going to destroy those virt that virtual machine as well. So you can see here at the, the messaging that's coming up, it's still working on Firepower. And it just give us a warning about policy device uh, assignment. We don't care. That's okay. It destroyed 15 items. Now we're destroying um, the uh, the web server, the Ubuntu uh, box that we created. And look at that. Destroy complete. One resource destroyed on VMware. Let's refresh here. We can see access control policy is gone. We go over to, or sorry, that was NAT policy. Now we go over to access control policy and it's gone. Object management. Let's just make sure that everything's disappeared. And nothing here. Let's go to URL. It's gone. Everything's gone here. Look at that. Destroyed. And look at, there's no server here. That server we created, let's try to refresh. You can see at the bottom it says destroy, it's gone.